Some of you, you'll find plenty of gourds from pumpkins to squash decorating tables for Thanksgiving dinner. But an artist from Minneapolis is using them as an inspiration for an exhibit at a local museum. In tonight's Voices for Change, Maury Glover shows us why. So the title of this is You OK? Question mark. For his first solo art show, Shea Mays is using plants to express himself. It's just um, all those little pieces are just gourds that crack naturally. And in the process, he's revealing his roots, both artistic and familial. It was a lot. It was emotional. Um, it was vulnerable. It's outside of the box of what I usually work with. So. Um, it tested me. May says growing up, he spent a lot of time in his grandmother's backyard in South Minneapolis, which was overgrown with gourds hanging from the vines. His grandmother dried, cured, and gave them out as gifts. So when Mays got into the visual arts and found a stockpile of gourds in his grandmother's garage from his childhood, he started working with them as a hobby. They're like wood. A lot more, um, they're softer though, so they sand quicker, they, they take, they hold shape, they're structurally, a lot of them are structurally sound, but they're also unpredictable. I like that about gourds. When Mays got a residency at the Minnesota African American Heritage Museum in Minneapolis, he created a dozen works of art out of more than a hundred gourds from his grandmother's garden. The pieces range from elaborate sculptures to decorative vases to even gourd lights. His creative ideas bearing fruit in unexpected ways. It's all just a deconstruction of the gourd inside and out, and then colors you see are used with natural pigments that come from my grandma's old dye pots, um, plants that came from the garden, all kinds of stuff. May says the show is centered around the word Sankofa from a tribe in Ghana, which encourages learning from the past to inform the future. And Mays says he did just that to create his garden of art, and he hopes it plants the seed for others to do the same. It's important to, to kind of go back and, and get stuff and, rem and rem remember who we are, you know, um, because we move really fast nowadays. For Voices for Change, Maury Glover, Fox 9. Okay, that's a new one for me. It's impressive. Oh, those boy. lights are so beautiful. Yes. I think, and the age of those gourds and how they kept so well. How do you visualize that stuff? I don't, I know. I don't get it, right? It's beautiful. Very nice.